Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to answer another common question which is also can you use glycolic or lactic acid and your vitamin C ascorbic acid in the same routine. Now generally speaking you can use them together. Now you also have to understand what the ingredients can do for your skin, when this combination is also beneficial to do and also when it's best to avoid doing this. And then I also want to share with you some example skincare routines in PowerPoint slides so that you also can see different options on how you could also do this when also trying this combination at home. Now, first of all, I want to get started with looking at the ingredients individually. So on one hand, you have your lactic acid or glycolic acid, which also can come, for example, in cleansers, also leave on solutions. And those are also AHAs, which are also exfoliating acids that are also the most suitable if you have dullness as well as also dry skin. But they are not so suitable if you have sensitive skin because then it also can burn or sting on the skin. And those can also help you to also shut off the dead skin cells from the skin surface to also have a smoother skin texture. It also has some anti-aging properties to it as well as also can increase the hydration within the skin. And usually those products also have a, like lower pH around a 3 to 4. And then on the other hand, you also have your ascorbic acid, which is the pure form of vitamin C. It's also the most researched vitamin C and also most effective. And when also looking at the vitamin C zone that also includes ascorbic acid in it, you may also come across, if they are well formulated, that they also have a low pH, because this is also where ascorbic acid also will feel the most comfortable. And it also will be the effective when you're also having a pH of 2 or 2.5. However, this is usually a pH that you cannot reach, also not lowering the skin's pH at that low because then it also can lead to burning or stinging. So therefore, when also looking at your exfoliating acid and your ascorbic acid product, if both products have a low pH and depending also on the strength of both products, this can lead, generally speaking, to stinging or burning on the skin. This is a drawback of it, but it can be very, very effective if you also have, for example, mature skin. You also want to have anti-aging benefits to it. You want to even out and brighten your skin tone because you may also have sun damaged skin and suffering from dark spots, which also want to fade over time. And this is also possible with such a combination. But again, keep the drawback in mind. And so when looking at the products, it is important that you know how you can get started and also if you want to combine them, how you can also use them in the same routine. And this is also where I now want to get started with my example skincare routines. Now keep in mind, those are only different examples on how you could do it. I have subscribers on my channel which can do this combination daily, whereas others prefer to also just use it like two to three times per week because this is what the skin likes the most. If they're going to do it too often, they may also come across stinging or burning. And then you also have others where the skin is too sensitive, where glycolic or lactic acid as well as ascorbic acid when using them on its own can already sting or burn on the skin. So please always adjust the skin routine, how your skin is going to respond to it because this can be very individual. Now I want to get started right with the like main focus of this video and this is also your glycolic acid or lactic acid solution or cleanser as well as also your vitamin C serum in the same routine. Now, when also looking at my daily example skin routine, um, using also your vitamin C during daytime, this is possible too. Then you can keep it fairly simple and still also get most out of your vitamin C. And this is also using a gentle cleanser accordingly to your skin type and needs. For example, the ordinary squalene cleanser or the one from Aveno, also Cetaphil. Wash your face with it and pat the skin dry. Then move on to your vitamin C ascorbic acid serum. Use about two to five drops or one to two pumps of it and apply it evenly over your face and neck. Be a bit careful around the eyes itself. Do not get it too close, nor use it on top of your eyelids. Then give it a moment so that your skin can also fully absorb it. Leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. After you have applied your vitamin C serum, if needed, you can also use a moisturizer afterwards. I have a few examples right here. Use about a pea size amount and also apply it evenly over your face and neck and also maybe decolletage, of course. 
then a wait a bit in between and then what's the most important step during daytime when being exposed to the sun is your sunscreen. Because we're working with an exfoliant as well as also with a brightening ingredient, wear sunscreen during daytime is important. Use about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon full of sunscreen for your face and neck and evenly apply it. Of course, don't forget the rest of your body as well. And then you're going to leave it on the skin and also reapply it during the day when also being exposed to the sun for several hours. Now this is an example routine of what your morning could look like. If you have a different morning skin care routine and you're thinking of using your vitamin C and glycolic acid or lactic acid in the evening, that's totally fine. I just want to keep my focus on those ingredients mainly. Then a PM skincare routine, which I recommend starting off with three times per week. You can do it also like less often as well as more often. And if your skin cannot handle it, you can also do this combination daily. But I recommend starting off slowly and then also adjusting the frequency of how often you're going to do this combination during the week. And this is also, again, fairly individual. Stick to a gentle cleanser, such as I already mentioned, to also wash your face with it, then also pat the skin dry. Then move on to your leave-on exfoliant. I have a few examples right here, such as also the Ordinary or Pixie or Paula's Choice or the Ordinary Lactic Acid. Those have different strength as well as different pH levels. I will get into this. If you have a toner-like solution with glycolic acid, use about a coin size amount of your cotton pad or in the palm of your hand and apply it on your face and neck. Give it a moment so that it also can sink into the skin before moving on. If you have a solution that also has a pipette, use about like two to five drops again to also evenly apply it over your face and neck. Be a bit careful in general also around the eyes. Do not get it too close to the eyes and also always keep in mind on how often you can use it. It depends also on your skin. Start off slowly and then slowly increasing the frequency if you should feel the need. Once you have applied it and it also has absorbed into the skin, leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. Then you're going to move on to your vitamin C serum. Again, use two to five drops or one to two pumps and apply it evenly over your face and leave it on the skin. And then finally, in the evening, if you also should feel the need, you don't have to use a pea-sized amount and also evenly apply it over your face. So this is what the order of application would look like and also how you would apply the different products to your face. But what's important to remember in this specific example, because we're using them in the same routine, is also, because I have wrote it down as well, you can see the different pHs of your glycolic acid leave-on solution or lactic acid as well as also your vitamin C solution. They are about the same pH, which can work extremely well. However, if you may come across a stinging or burning, please do not like repeat it because you don't want to like make it worse. If that should be the case, I recommend keeping them separate. But when using them in the same routine, and this also works well for you, you can say, for example, with the ordinary glycolic acid toning solution, that one has 7% of glycolic acid in it and has a pH of 3.5 to 3.7. And then if you also would look at the vitamin C serums options that I have right here, you have a pH of 3.8 as well as also Paula's Choice 1 of 3. So the lower the pH of your glycolic acid or lactic acid solution and your vitamin C serum, the better. But again, the drawback may be stinging or burning. But this is where both products are the most effective, especially your vitamin C, because it can absorb really well into the skin and be very effective also within the skin to also give you those anti-aging benefits to even out your skin tone and then your glycolic acid on the other hand off to increase the hydration within the skin and also like has the anti-aging benefits to it to also have if you have for example mature sun damaged skin to also have a smoother skin texture to reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles as well as even out your skin tone so this can be an extremely powerful combination which works extremely well. Now, if I want to give you now the best recommendation with the examples that I have picked right here. Generally speaking, I would, for example, say 
that the ordinary glycolic acid or also the one from Polar's Choice, the AHA, also the ordinary lactic acid, based on the pH and the strength of it, they are really well formulated and also work very effectively. Then you also have the Pixie one, that's one that one is a bit gentler, therefore the pH isn't as low. So it has benefits as well as also some um, like negative points to it, depending also on your skin concerns. If you have really stubborn sunburn, uh, not sunburn, but sun damaged skin and you're suffering from dark spots, the lower the pH, the better. The strength in that specific case, 7% or 10% or 5% of your glycolic acid or lactic acid, is or can already be enough. If you're going to go higher up in strength, it also can come with a bit more like uh, stinging or burning. So about that strength of AHAs is already about fine if you want to use it more often during the week. Then when also looking at your vitamin C, you have the one from Claire's has 5% in it, but a higher pH of 3.8. The one from Revolution has a bit more ascorbic acid in it, but again, a higher pH. And then you also have the one from Paula's Choice, which has 15% of ascorbic acid in it, but a lower pH. So I recommend in that specific example, if you want to get most out of it, use, for example, the ordinary glycolic acid, Paula's Choice AHA, or the ordinary lactic acid, and combine it with Paula's Choice Vitamin C Booster. This would be an extremely well-formulated and also effective combination based on the strength, as well as also the pH of both products. If you're going up higher in your pH, as well as also maybe with a lower strength of glycolic acid, or also your vitamin C in it, it is less effective. It, this doesn't mean that it's not going to work at all. Please don't get me wrong. It may be a bit better if you have a bit more of a like sensitive skin that if the pH is too low, you can already feel the stinging and burning. But if the pH is a bit higher, this can work really well for your skin. So you still can also go with a higher pH, also lower strength. So I really want to break it down in this specific example because we are using them right here in the same routine. And again, adjust the frequency to what works the best for your skin. Now on other days, when also not doing this combination of your glycolic acid and vitamin C serum in the same routine, you can also keep it simple. And I just put as an example like Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday into this. That you're going to wash your face with your gentle cleanser, apply your vitamin C and if needed finish off with a moisturizer since we're already in the same week but in your evening skincare routine still the same. So that you also will get most out of it. Now you can adjust the frequency on how often you're going to use your glycolic acid in your evening skincare routine based on how your skin is also able to tolerate it. Because I do want to emphasize that if you're doing this combination too often, it also can lead to over exfoliation. This doesn't have to happen. I know some people who can do this combination daily, but if you also should come across, let's say after doing this combination for the third time, you can already feel stinging or burning on the skin, please do not do it the next day again because this is not going to make it better, but either worse. So therefore try to adjust just the frequency of it because you're basically also using a leave-on exfoliating acid solution which is also a bit stronger on the skin than if you also would use a cleanser because the cleanser you're washing it off with a leave-on solution you're going to leave it on the skin. So therefore finding the right balance of how often you can do this combination is really the key and keep in mind those are just examples on how often you can also do it in the evening. Now, when also looking at a different routine with also specifically focusing on an AHA BHA cleanser, also so-called low pH cleansers, then you also could do it like this. I want to get started again with the morning routine, which is going to be the same. Wash your face with a gentle cleanser, use your vitamin C, moisturize if needed, and then sunscreen during the day. But in the evening, instead of your leave-on exfoliating acid solution, you're going to use an AHA BHA cleanser. The one that I picked from Face Theory are the two examples. First of all, I use myself, and second of all, also quite affordable and do an amazing job when also lowering the pH so that your vitamin C can be more effective. And with an AHA BHA cleanser, you can bring down the pH of your skin, similar to the leave-on solution as I showed you earlier, 
But in this specific case, you're going to leave it on the skin for a minute and then you're going to rinse it off, pat the skin dry and then move on to your vitamin C. And this also may be a combination that you can do more often during the week as if you would use a leave-on solution because with your cleanser, you're not going to leave it on the skin. You're going to also wash it off after a minute. And then once you have applied your vitamin C, then just leave it on the skin and if needed, finish it off with a moisturizer. Again, if you also feel that you cannot use your um, AHA BHA cleanser too often during the day, or too often, sorry, during the week, then you can also use on the other days in your evening skin routine, just replace it with a gentle cleanser and then your vitamin C and moisturizer if needed. So again, that you also find the right balance for you. Some people can use this daily. My husband is an example of it. He can use a low pH and a vitamin C daily in his evening skin routine, where I personally prefer to only use the AHA BHA cleanser twice per week, because if I'm going to use it more often than that, I start feeling stinging and burning on the skin. So therefore, even though we are using the same products, we have a different skin and therefore we need to adjust it to how the skin feels after you have also applied the products. Just because you may not be able to do this combination daily doesn't mean that it's going to be less effective. What's really the key is also being consistent with your skincare routine and also keep on doing this so that you also can achieve your goal that you're looking for. And then another combination also would be just in case you also may not be able to also tolerate them in the same routine because you have a bit more of a sensitive skin or every time when you're using them together, it doesn't matter if you're only doing this once a week or twice per week or daily, it's always going to burn or sting on the skin. Then I recommend it is best to keep them separate. And this is also where you can use your vitamin C with a gentle cleanser, moisturizer and sunscreen during daytime to even out your skin tone. And then in the evening, you're going to use your exfoliant to also exfoliate the skin. And then also how often you're going to use the exfoliant on its own, like gentle cleanser, your leave-on exfoliant and then your moisturizer depends again also on your skin. I recommend starting off slowly again and then increase the frequency if needed and also how your skin is going to enjoy it. If you can use your exfoliant daily when also using it without your vitamin C, that's fine too. If you want to use it less often during the week, that is fine too. And then on the other days, in your evening skincare routine, when not using your leave-on solution on its own, you can just quickly replace it with your vitamin C, so that you also will have a nice balance, still getting the benefits of your vitamin C and also exfoliant, when also using them in the same routine. Now those are basically also the examples that I also want to share with you so that you also can see how do I work with a leave-on exfoliant that also includes glycolic or lactic acid as well as my ascorbic acid zone and how do I work with a glycolic, lactic, salicylic acid cleanser and your vitamin C zone how often you can use them, how you can adjust them in your routine, because that's really important to also understand. Keep in mind, again, those are only example skincare routines that I have set up so that you also get the idea of how you can do this, so that you also then know not only in what order you can also use them, but also have some product examples, what also work really well when also combining them, also if you wanna get the benefits from those products itself or ingredients itself. Now, please also don't forget that you always can download the PowerPoint slides in the description box down below if you also wanna use them as a guide when also building your own skincare routine and also when looking at this combination. And based on that, you always can tweak and adjust your skincare routine when also experiencing something that's maybe unpleasant or you're trying a new combination and that works really well to it, then stick to it, that's completely fine. Now, if you also want to see an application video, then I'm also going to link them in the end of this video so that you also can keep on watching and also see a proper application when also now going over my example skincare routines. Now, if you also enjoyed this video and you also find it helpful, then also please don't forget, give it a thumbs up as well as share it. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skincare. Bye.